Can't wait. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> it's time to play our weekly game called What's It Worth? Uh. We ask antiques expert Dr. Lori the value of three items chosen from the PTL mailbox. And today's theme is Thanksgiving entertaining. And uh, Dr. Lori, you know this. The things that happen in the commercial break, I mean, they are just <laughs> wild, I have to tell you. We need a special yes. show for that. We do, yes. we really do. Uh, so let's talk about um, Thanksgiving items. And first of all, happy Thanksgiving to you. You have big plans with your family. Happy Thanksgiving. I do have plans with my family, so keep your fingers crossed that I don't burn stuff. <laughs> no, but you have a, you're making the turkey. That's really That's a important. big task, Dr. Lori. That's all I can do. That's it. I put it in. I just have to, like, like time it. I have to do that timing part, but I can do that. You can do That's it. That's it. We have confidence in you. <laughs> all right. Up first, we okay. have a turkey platter sent in by Larry. Oh, this is cool. I mean, Larry's so appropriate. Here's the turkey platter. So 19 inches made in the United States, marked California, uh, one of the ceramic companies out of California made of ceramic. It's very, very nice. It's about 19 inches long, so it's going to hold a lot of turkey. Do you have a specific platter that you use at, at Thanksgiving? We do. Uh, you know, we have not started cooking at our house yet, so mm -hmm. I don't. We, ha we don't have the things. Right, you don't have that tradition going yet. Yet, yeah, no. Yeah. yeah. But and congratulations on your new house. How exciting. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, maybe next year. Maybe yeah, next year. yeah, new memories in a new house. All right, so right. Is, you, you mentioned this is made by a company in what, California? Is it yes. like a limited edition thing? Is it an artist no. attached to it? No, All they right. made a lot of them. Made a lot of them. All right, a lot is, of them. did you say hand painted or no? Hand painted. Hand painted, all and right. And it, it does it increase in value this time of year just because of the closeness of Thanksgiving. Exactly, exactly. If you decided that you were selling all of your Thanksgiving stuff, you would sell it two weeks before the holiday, you'll get top dollar in that time period. After, of course, you know, the 26th, 27th of November, all of a sudden we forget about Thanksgiving right. and we're on to the next right. thing. All right. Right. So shrewd. So, okay. Do so you know right. what you're going to say? Yeah, I just don't know. I'm, I, I just don't know. Well, all right. you wrote something down. I did write something down. I said 150. I said 95. And Heather Abraham, who doesn't have this, would be absolutely on the money at 150. Gosh, 150. You know, you know wow. what? Normally, I would say anyone who's right on the money should get double points, but since she got it, I won't say <laughs> that. I'm taking that right back. All right. So next up is a china bowl set sent in by Rose. Tell us about this. So this particular piece is Limoges Haviland, Ooh. and it Haviland. Haviland is a very, very well and popular name from Limoges, France, making this lovely China reticulated bowl. It's hand painted. It dates to the mid 1900s, so about the 1950s, 60s. Mm. It's really intricate Limoges. with like the little openings, yeah. like it's like lattice work sort of. That's right. That's called reticulated when it's open work like that. It's very beautiful. Lots of people collect them. I love the detail on there. I'm a big bird fan. Yeah. Ah. Birds speak to me. I don't know. I mean, and not like, not like actually, too. but you know, metaphorically. <laughs> it's, okay. it's okay if they do, Heather. Just it's, outside like the woman right. in Home Alone. <laughs> Remember the woman who fed all the pigeons? That's just me up there just talking. <laughs> okay. okay. I just like hearing you say Limoges Hav Haviland. It's just fun to say. <laughs> Limoges. All right. Alamode. Okay, this is beautiful. It's a beautiful uh, dish. So. Beautiful. Go ahead. The clay, the, clay, the clay in Limoges, France, is among some of the most desirable and best quality clay for making ceramics in the world. Oh, see, now maybe I want to add a digit to this. Uh, <laughs> I said 190. I said 185. $100 is what it's worth. Oh. oh. All right. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> there is no way mathematically I can win this, but let's continue. Okay, so we saw the shaker um, heading let's to break. Let's do it anyway. So let's let, tell us more about this one. It has the recipes right there. No, I have right had there. David Highfield's cocktails, and let me tell you, he's very good at this. He's very good at cocktails. <laughs> yes. You have you to have you some fallback trait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is a great piece. It's a cocktail shaker, mid-century modern, made by Hazel Atlas. Uh, with the cocktail recipes right on the side, so you can make a Manhattan or a whiskey sour from the 1950s into the early 1960s. Very desirable and one of the biggest collecting categories I talk about on my YouTube channel, my website, and all these places where I guide people as to what to buy and how to resell it. 
is barware. It's huge. Everybody oh. wants to stock their bar with these cool looking pieces. So go big or go home with this one. Wow. Oh, you're building this up. I didn't know that whiskey sour. I mean, that recipe anyways called for powdered sugar. Did you see that? I didn't. I wasn't reading the recipe. I, that was interesting. No, and you mentioned a woman's name. So what was the what was the name again, and what's oh. the significance of her? <laughs> I mentioned Hazel Atlas. Yeah. Hazel Atlas is actually the the glass company that produced this. Oh, okay. All right. Not the maid. You know old Remember Hazel? The, <laughs> I was like, Hazel makes one heck of a whiskey sour. Let me tell you. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> All right, I don't know. Go big or go home, Dr. Lori says. Go big or go home. I don't think I'm right. $75. 270 <gasps> Oh, gosh. Not that big. It's oh. worth $85. Oh, oh my, my gosh. God. Heather Abraham has won everything today. Clean, sweet. <sighs> Where's my broom? <laughs> okay. Where is my broom? Not because right. I'm a witch, but because no. I got to <laughs> sweep this up. Good for no, you, Heather. Nobody likes a winner that's too gleeful. Mm. All right. Oh, Dr. Lori, we want to mention that you're on TV again, once again, like this, on national yeah, TV, not, this not just show. Pittsburgh Today Live. <laughs> Pawn Stars, right? Pawn Stars Do America, season two. You can watch me um, on November 22nd, which is Wednesday, and again on the 29th. And yes, I'll appear on episodes uh, throughout the new season, season two of Pawn Stars Do America. On the History Channel. I've been on the History Channel for many, many years. I, I do like to contribute to that, too. But I love to be here with all of you. I'm thankful for all of you. And happy Thanksgiving, Pittsburgh. Happy Thanksgiving. We are so lucky and grateful we to have are. this beautiful relationship with you and friendship. I'm grateful. Oh, we love happy you. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving Don't burn to anything. you. Don't, Don't burn, burn anything. anything. <laughs> We're going to try not to. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Bye, Dr. Lori. Good luck. <laughs> we want to thank you at home for sending us your pictures. You can send yours to Dr. Lori. Just email us at ptl at kdka.com. Maybe yours will be chosen for a future episode with Dr. Lori. It is exciting to see her on that show. I know. When you're watching, it's like, I know, know her. her. I know her. <laughs> She's on national TV.